In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple trick for painting a sun or a moon in your nighttime or sunset watercolour sky. Welcome back to my channel. If we haven't met before, my name is Michelle and on this channel you'll find art tips and techniques, art business advice and social media training for artists. So please do subscribe and if you hit the bell notification, you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. So have you ever tried to paint one of those nighttime or sunset scenes that's got a whitened out sun or a moon in the distance? It's really tricky, isn't it? If you use masking fluid, it looks a bit too hard edged. And if you just try and leave space and paint round the white area, it can end up with lots of drying lines and you know, you're sort of, you're trying to get some definition and everything's bleeding and it's not very easy. Well, today I'm gonna to show you a really simple trick. It's gonna work for you every single time. You're gonna need two things. You're gonna need a coin and you're going to need some kitchen paper or paper towel. So in a second, I'm gonna point the camera down and I'll show you exactly how it's done. So here we are looking down at my drawing board and I've got stuff ready to go. So here's my coin. Now I'm gonna prepare this before I start. A lot of my students get in lots of trouble because they don't get everything ready before they start. Like many watercolor techniques, this has to be done while the paper is wet, while the paint is wet. So if you don't get everything ready in advance, you're gonna be in a huge panic and it's all gonna be starting to dry and it won't work for you. So we've got some kitchen paper here. We call it kitchen paper in the UK, perhaps you call it paper towel, something like that. And I'm just gonna place my coin in there and sort of pinch the paper round the back so it looks something like that. It does not have to be perfectly round. The good thing about this technique is it leaves a very natural looking shape. It's not as hard edged as masking fluid and you're gonna find it just looks really lovely. So to start with, I'm just pre-wetting this area here, which is gonna be my sky. Now, I'm not gonna take ages over, you know, this is not a sky painting tutorial. I'll show you how to do that another day. But I've just pre-wet and I'm gonna put some color straight on. So I'm gonna go in with a nice, maybe a nice warm yellow up here. So you don't want puddles, so as always, I'm just getting that excess water off and drying my brush. And then let's have some of this nice sort of, I think this is Windsor and Newton orange red shade. Or maybe Windsor orange, something like that anyways, definitely Windsor and Newton. And it's the sort of the pink um, toned red rather than the yellow toned red. So here we go, I've got my paint on and it's wet. So I'm gonna take my coin now and I'm just literally going to press give it maybe a slight twist and then lift straight off and look at that, doesn't it work well? So now we've got our sun shape. Yes, it's not perfectly round. Yes, there's some distortion on it, but you find that naturally in sunsets anyway. And if you want to be particularly clever, if you think it would look nice in your picture, what you can do is to get some, um, some maybe some more orange. It's important if you're going on with more paint at this, time that you um, you make sure the brush is quite dry. Don't go on with drippy paint because it'll bleed everywhere but if you want to go on with some really sticky paint either straight out of the tube or just um, from the pan with minimal addition of water you can if you want to get some other stuff going on there and it's as easy as that works just as well for the moon if you've got um, you know a dark blue something like that it works for that too. So I just want you to try this technique out on a scrap of paper before you commit to doing it on your watercolor painting. And the reason for that is this. If, um, if you've used a staining color, something that really sort of sticks to the paper, maybe um, a purple, um, a permanent violet, something like that, or a Prussian blue or a phthalo blue, you may find it doesn't lift out quite as well as this. So I want you to try it out with the color that you're going to be using on the paper that you're going to be using on a scrap of paper first, advisable to be honest for any watercolor technique. Give it a try first and you can end up with some fabulous results like this. So I hope that's added another little trick to your watercolor skill set. Do let me know in the comments if you've seen this trick before. If you're gonna give it a go now, I'd love you to subscribe to my channel and you can watch another video right now.